The percentage of sales success. How low can you go? Jeffrey, I have to make 50 cold calls a week. Why? Well, my boss said I have to. Everyone has to. Why? Because we're trying to make new contacts and more sales. <laughs> Is there a better way to do that than cold calls? I sure hope so, Jeffrey. I sure hope so. Well, let me give you a clue. There's no worse way. The cold call is the lowest percentage sales call. It's an interruption. It's a fight. It's often a lie. It's maximum sales manipulation. And it's a rare appointment and a rarer sale. Want to go from low to lower? Cold calls are made by people who are new to the job and have limited capabilities or worse, they are made by seasoned salespeople convinced that cold calls work because they made me a lot of money. <laughs> we differ on the definition of the words a lot. But Jeffrey, you don't understand. I have to make cold calls. It's a job requirement. You're whining. It is not a job requirement. Suppose you doubled your sales quota for the month and made more sales than anybody else in the company. If you sheepishly went to your boss and said, I'm going to make one cold call. Is your boss going to fire you? Or is it likely that he or she could care less? He'll hoist you on his shoulders and tell everyone in the company how great you are. In fact, he'll want to know how you did it. In fact, you may be put in charge of training. In fact, you may be next in line for the boss's job. Let's get the facts straight. Cold calls are a great supplement. Cold calls are a great place to practice. Cold calls are a great place to learn sales skills, but cold calls are a lousy place to make a sale. Let's go one step further. Of all sales opportunities, options, and scenarios, cold calling is the worst one. Everybody wants to make more sales, and most salespeople have a monthly goal or quota. The question remains, what's the best way to make that happen? And the answer is, look at the value of your sales call, or better stated, the valuableness of your sales call. In other words, which sales call will produce the best results, the most sales, the greatest return on time and money, and be best for building a great relationship and loyal customer? And oh, by the way, which is the most profitable? Ranked in order, here are the categories of sales calls, both outgoing and incoming, for your painful pleasure. And be advised, the more valuable they are, the harder you have to work to get them, but the easier they are to make the sale. The fact that I've found over the last 30 years is that most salespeople won't do the hard work that it takes to make selling or sales easy. Well, here's the worst, the cold call. Almost as bad, an appointment made from a cold call. Here's fair. Response from an ad or a direct mail or unsolicited email. Here's semi-good, an appointment made from a trade show or networking event. Here's pretty good, a social media inquiry. Pretty good, a web inquiry. Pretty good, an email blast to your existing customers. Here's real good, a referral from another customer or friend. Here's another real good, an unsolicited referral. Here's great, an unsolicited call from a prospect wanting to buy. And here's the best, an unsolicited call from an existing customer wanting to buy more. Okay, now that you know the types, write the percentages that go with them. No, no, not the percentages you close. The percentage of each that makes up the type of sales calls that you make or sales inquiries you now receive. You see, if you change the type, you automatically change the percentage. Eliminate cold calls and concentrate on earned referrals and your sales completion ratio will skyrocket. 100 cold calls or 100 referrals? You tell me, Bubba. And while you're telling me, tell your boss to read this or watch this or listen to this. Okay, Jeffrey, now that we've established the types and the percentages, tell me how to get from the lowest level to the highest level. Okay, I will some other time, maybe next week, but let me give you this clue. It has more to do with networking, positioning, personal reputation, business reputation, web presence, social media presence, Google ranking, and service than 
cold calling. So stay tuned. <laughs>